Global Runner and today we're going to be doing a good old fashioned shoe battle. The first one is the Adidas Takumi Sen. The second one is the New Balance Fuel Cell Super Comp Pacer. Which one of these beauties is the best over 5k in my view? Let's find out. So first let's look at the Adidas Takumi Sen. They have the Light Strike Pro foam all the way through um, and they have these energy rods which uh, line up to give you a nice springy toe off and these are a super lightweight super fun shoe. Now these shoes have a full carbon fiber plate in there and they have this sort of energy arc system. They are super stiff and they have a relatively firm foam. So let's look at the difference between the two of them. First off, let's talk about weight. Now I know weight isn't everything, but when you've got a 5K racer, I think it's pretty important. So on that front, the Takumi Sen is the winner. Now this is difficult because it's very subjective and these are not designed to be super plus shoes. These are designed to be faster 5K shoes, which you're only gonna have on your feet for ideally 20 minutes or less. So comfort is not the main factor, but just edging it was the uh, New Balance one on these. I found these super comfortable to put on and that's not to say that the Takumi Sen weren't comfortable, but I did find them a lot more comfortable. You will never see me crack and, and again these are not designed to be shoes that have big uppers in fact the uppers if anything get in the way um, they're designed to be super lightweight they're both very see-through and they are uppers which are designed just to avoid weight I have to say they were both comfortable uppers but I'm gonna go with the Takumi Sen it just had that little bit more lockdown through the front foot I think it was a narrower fit and it was a firmer hold so that was uh, great for me in terms of holding the foot down and that's what you want in faster 5k races. Rip. And there's only one winner here and that's this one. This shoe is fine when you're gripping. It didn't have any issues whatsoever. I want to be very clear about that. But the grip on this is absolutely insane. You've got the continental rubber ribbed grip here and you've got this like uh, it's the same grip as you get on the Pro 2. It's this like sort of sandpaper type grip and the grip on this is fantastic. So this is the winner in terms of grip. This is the best value for money. I mean, they're both going to get you around 5K and they're both going to get you around 5K super fast. This one is significantly cheaper than New Balance. I would say that this is the better value for money. They're both very similar shoes doing a very similar job, but this is um, $50 Canadian, cheaper than the Takumi Sen. The winner on this one is the closest, which is true to size, and the winner is the New Balance. New Balance is a size 10. I went with my size 10, and that is spot on true to size. I would exactly go with that size. Takumi Sen, I bought in a 10, and it was too big. I think I could have gone down easily half a size, particularly for a race type shoe. So, in terms of fit, the New Balance wins it because it is true to size. Then, the big question if I was racing a 5K, which would I wear? And the answer is this one, the Takumi Sen. I think it's just got that better ride and more importantly, it's lighter. And I think that really counts uh, over 5K. I also really like the grip and I like the lockdown feeling in the foot. So if I was racing a 5K, I would wear the Takumi Sen in preference to the New Balance Super Comp Pacer. So there we have it. Do you agree with that assessment? Have you tried them both out? Have you tried either of them out? What are your comments on either of them? Let me know in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to mash that like button. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.